Okay, I'm walking back. I just want to show you this tree. It's huge. And then they have a barrel out here to burn your trash before you leave, but I don't think that's responsible, so I'm going to take it back into the city and dispose of it there. I don't know what kind of trees these are. I think there's some evergreen out here and some pine. I'm not sure what they are. <laughs> and then all this is bush hog by some gentleman. He comes out here three times a summer and does it for about a hundred bucks. And I wanted to point out this huge tree next to the cabin. That right there, that was a Christmas tree they had one year and then they planted it. And it's just huge. Well, let's go behind the house over this way. Behind the cabin. And I guess that looks like a I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> so this is the back of the cabin. There's the air conditioner that's never been hooked up. And there's another little trail that goes back here. And then let's go back over here. This is like a, I don't know what this was, like a little chicken coop or something in there they had built. A little roof on it. It got uh, the roof got blown apart during some storm, as you can see. I'm going to go back here. But they still kept it, and they played games and stuff in there, but I'm not going in there until I know there's no animals in there. Okay, this is where they did a little fire. This is where they had their fire pit, right here. And then this is part of the corral over there. There's the gate. I'm going to walk over to it. See, this is like all just wild stuff. <laughs> Here's the corral. It's got a gate to it. Right here it says no trespassing. I think I just walked in the fire ant thing. And anyway, my next door neighbor is going to bring his horses and put them in the corral here. And then he's going to pay my water bill. And we're going to put the water bill in his name. I, I like that. So here I go along the corral. So you can see it's just all overgrown in there. And that's why he wants to keep his horses in there. And it's got a nice barbed wire fence all the way around it. And it, I don't know how far it is, but I know it, the whole thing is fenced. So I think I'm going to go up to the road here and see where the fence is on the other side. And the road going to the cabin is a uh, blacktop. It's been here for years. Ugh. Okay, and that is the Sabine National Forest, as far as you can see on the other side. And that's down the road. I've heard one car since I've been here today. So this is another gate to get into the corral. And let's just follow it along. And he's also going to do all the gate repairs and fence repairs for letting me keep his horses in here. So it looks beautiful in there. And I guess this is the end here, and it goes back at an angle. There's a corner post. So it's pretty much all in there. And then you can see the cabin up there. Okay, I'm going to go take a walk. Bye.